we're back. Back for a Tuesday game. Back in the middle of the summer. Still plenty of summer to go. You know, it always feels like once we get past the 4th of July, here in the States at least, that the summer just starts blowing by super fast. But I'm here to remind you, there's still plenty of time left for you to relax, for you to have fun. Enjoy the sun. Hopefully it's hot, but not too hot where you are. You're getting some good summer weather. Uh Uh-oh, Rockin' 1018 is in a major thunderstorm. Hoping everything is doing all right. Hello, Manistee, Maine. What's going on? Ohio, hello. Anderson, Indiana. Melvin M. saying hello and good luck to everybody today. Johnny Depp trivia game. Oh, my goodness. That would be for a specific person. That's, you know, a lot of people want those very specific, you know, they want one very uh, uh, TV show or a specific actor, which I get. And who knows? Who knows what themes could be heading your way in the future? Pokemon trivia. There's another uh, request. Northeast Ohio having a thunderstorm. Hope you are doing well. Deer Park, New York. Hello, Boston, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Hello to the 71 Brat in Australia. How is it going? Fredericksburg loves Swagbucks. Guess what? Swagbucks loves Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg. Newcastle, England. Hello. Christmas trivia. Yes, we do that every year around Christmas. So just stay tight. I know I know. there's a whole Christmas in July sort of thing, but we're not the Hallmark Channel. We're going to leave that to them, to the professionals. We're the professionals at trivia and rewarding people. So we're going to stay in our area of specialty and bring you the best possible game. Because it's time for an, for your Tuesday break slash challenge slash bonus time. All of which mean you're about to play another game of Swag Bucks Live. The mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. The stars have aligned to bring your font of useless trivia together with this grand prize. Take a look. That's $1,000. And if you correctly answer all 10 of our multiple choice trivia questions about a variety of topics, you will win a share of it. Here's what else is going on. We have bonus SB for you. After question number one, you get one SB for every question you get right. And that's the case even if you've been eliminated from grand prize contention. So as many as you get right after question number one, that's how many bonus SB you'll receive. Now, if you are eliminated from grand prize contention, you do have to claim them after the game to keep them. That is as simple as clicking a button that will show up on your screen. But if you win the game today, you will get your bonus SB automatically added to your share of the grand prize. No claiming necessary. Once per game, I want to point out to our newcomers, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin and get another shot at that grand prize. You can do that with SB, which it doesn't cost much. You're going to make more off the bonus SB than you will ever spend to get back in. Or you can use a free rejoin. If you don't have any, You will soon because this is day two of another second chance week, which means you will earn three free rejoins for every game you play automatically added to your account before the next game begins. So come back all week long and restock on rejoins. Let's get the comments off of your screen so it can be filled with your warm up. Here is question number one. What diet doesn't allow dairy? Is it vegan, vegetarian or Weight Watchers? One of these is dairy-free. No dairy allowed. How and what you eat has to align with what's best for you. If dairy is a no-no for medical or ethical reasons, a vegan diet is probably your best choice. Vegan is the answer. Vegetarian, you do have eggs, you do have milk, uh, you just don't eat meat. But vegan is no animal products whatsoever. Not even honey. Ask Devin, the swag queen. She knows. But only 62% of you getting that one right, which is a good number, but not as many as I would have thought. But I get it to say vegetarian. You would think no dairy, but no, you can't have dairy on a vegetarian diet. But of the 35% of you are eliminated, all of you coming right back in. Still over 30,000 people in grand prize contention, over 33,000 total playing along. That is what I like to see. And some of our stragglers coming in. Hello to you stragglers and welcome from here on out. Every question you get right, no matter what, will earn you one SB. Here is question number two. Asking someone if they were raised in a barn would most likely imply which of the following. 
they can dance, they didn't shut the door, or they made pancakes. If you ask somebody, what, were you raised in a barn? The MTV sketch show The State has a classic sketch that deep dives into the statement, where someone reveals they were raised in a barn after they left a door open. Leaving a door open, you didn't shut the door. Shut the door, what, were you raised in a barn? We all heard that at some point. As, as a child, I would imagine, well, 58% of us did, but 37% said they can dance, which if you're raised in a barn, I guess if you went to a barn dance, even then maybe you, you can or can't dance. But when we ask somebody if they were raised in a barn, it's they have poor manners, um, they're uncouth would be another another way to say that. But I'm, I'm surprised to see 42% of you eliminated on that one, about half of you coming back in. Uh, you know, it's always a surprise. Sometimes the ones you think are going to be easy are hard. Sometimes the ones you think are going to be hard are going to be easy. That's just how it goes. But for now, we are going to move on to question number three. Don't forget, you can still burn bonus SP. Don't go anywhere. Here is question number three worth one bonus SP. What historical document's name translates to the Great Charter? Is it the Magna Carta, the Treaty of Verdun, or the Constitution? The name translates to the Great Charter. Which one is it? It's one of history's benchmark documents outlining a set of rights and limitations that weren't exactly followed to the letter, but the answer, nonetheless, is the Magna Carta. The Magna Carta is the answer. 89% of you getting that one right. Well done. You sniffed it out. You either knew that already just from school, or you looked and saw Great Charter, Magna Carta. I kind of make sense. I can sort of do the translation because you have Magna Cum Laude when you graduate, that whole thing. Either way, however you did it, well done. Happy for you. Still over 20,000 people in grand prize contention. As we move on to question number four, worth one bonus SB. Here it is. In Finding Nemo, what kind of fish is Nemo? Is Nemo a trout, a swordfish, or a clownfish? What kind of a fish is little Nemo? When Nemo is separated from his dad, Marlin, it sets off a series of events that sends those both fish around the world, one after the other, which is a long way to go when you're just a little clownfish. Clownfish is the answer. 97% of you getting that one right. They all want Marlin to tell the joke, but he's not funny. Even though he's a clownfish, people always mistake that. 97% of you getting that one right. Well done. That is no joke, to be sure. We are ready to move right on into question number five, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. Here it is. What color were the original carrots? Were they orange, purple, or green? Got a lot of different types of carrots now, but originally they were just one color. Which one was it? You can still get them in this color, but it feels more like a novelty and less like the orange or yellow that we all know. The original carrots, however, they were purple. Purple is the answer. 48% of you getting that one right. We just lost over half of our players. That one a little more difficult. That's a tough one. That's one of the ones I would have expected a bunch of people would get wrong. I'm sorry to see it, but I thought it might happen. That's okay. Games get a little bit harder. This game, for some reason, has been very hard. That's okay. We're still moving along. We're doing well. We're halfway done the game. We still have almost 14,000 people in grand prize contention. The rest of you can keep earning bonus SB. No reason to go anywhere. Makes no sense. Stick around. This next one worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number six. What is the primary alcohol in a Moscow mule? Is it vodka, beer, or whiskey? What is the primary alcohol in a, in a Moscow mule? If you're going to call it a Moscow Mule, it better contain the official distilled alcoholic beverage of Russia. The drink I'm talking about, of course, is vodka. Vodka! 83% of you getting that one right. Well done. My Russian heritage coming to the forefront there. 83% of you knew that one as well. Well done. Yes, of course, that's it. Served in the copper cup. Because that, if when a copper cup, it keeps it the same temperature. It keeps it, it gets, it lowers it's nice and cold. Keeps your drink cold. Copper Cups, the original Yetis. Let's move on to question number seven. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Nan and Bert and Freddie and Flossie are collectively known by what name? Are they the Bobsy Twins, the Get Along Gang, or the Hardy Boys? Nan and Bert and Freddie and Flossie. Who are they? While the series started off in 1904... 
at the time, it was about general adventures. But over the course of 72 books, the Bobsy twins became child investigators. The Bobsy twins. That is who they are. Two sets of twins in the Bobsy family. 56% of you getting that one right. The Get Along Gang, unfortunately, not the answer. That is a cartoon from the 80s. If I'm not mistaken, in the Hardy Boys, uh, there were two of them. And they were not Nan and Bert and Freddie and Flossie, unfortunately. Sorry to see that many of you get eliminated, but plenty of bonus SB to be earned. So why don't we move on right now to question number eight, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which of these words contains a dental fricative? Is it crunch, knock, or thistle? One of these words contains a dental fr fricative. Fricative. Which one is it? The dental fricative is the sound made by your mouth when you pronounce the combination of T and H, like you do in the word thistle. Thistle is the answer. 56% of you getting that one right. We've just been like half, 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 half. There's only 5,000 people remaining, but that number is jumping as people rejoin. We're back up over 6,500. Can we get to 7,000? Maybe not. Slowing down a little bit, but that's okay. Still over 30,000 of you here. Knowing there are a few more bonus SB for you to earn, and you got to stick around to claim them. You don't want to lose the bonus SB, all that work that you've put in. And there's only two. Who, who knows how many people? I don't know what's going to happen next. Let's find out, shall we? Let's move on to question number nine, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. Here it is. By what nickname is Hank Williams Jr. known? Is he the King of Swing, Bocephus, or the Godfather of Soul? What is the answer? The nickname was given to him by his dad. Bocephus was the name of the grand old Opry comedian Rod Bradsfield's ventriloquist dummy. So it went from being dummy to being a legend in country music. Bocephus, the answer either way. 67% of you getting that one right. Well done. That's two-thirds of you. 4,385 to be exact who have made it this far and are ready for our final question. And if you had fun playing this game, tell your friends about it. Post to social media with the hashtag SBLive and include your share link, which you can find after the game by clicking the Invite or Get More Rejoins button in the main menu of this app. Because when people sign up using your link, you get a free rejoin, including that that that's just like the three that you're getting for playing this game. Coming to you in just a bit. Oh, before we get to question number 10, I've got a great mobile banking solution for you to check out. It's called Chime. When you sign up, you get a Chime Visa debit card, a spending account, and an optional savings account. By signing up through Swagbucks, you'll earn 15,000 SB, it's $150, when your first direct deposit comes into your account. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this offer, but check it out after the game. There's one thing I know about people who use Swagbucks, is they are passionate about saving and making money. So here's a bank account that you can open that will earn you money for putting money away into the bank. $150 worth of SB. Worth thinking about, definitely worth trying. Check it out after the game. We have 4,894 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 30,000 of you still sticking with us in this game. All of you can earn yourselves one more bonus SB by correctly answering the final question in this Tuesday game. Here's question number 10. Where would you find the longest river in the world? Is it in Africa, France, or Cleveland? Where would you find the longest river in the world? The Nile beats out the Amazon by about 200 miles for the title of the world's longest river. And it can be found in Egypt, which in turn can be found in Africa. Africa is the answer. 4,768 of you knew that one, and you are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Not as many winners. So that means more money to split. 21 SB apiece coming your way. Congratulations to Eternal Doom. How about Eternal Winner? Lexi B. Bear, roar, you are a winner as well. And also, Delone Jr., congratulations to you. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners. And congratulations to those of you who earned bonus SB throughout the game. You didn't win the grand prize, but you stuck around and claimed your SB. 
That's the smart move because you added more SB to your account. And one day you will take those SB and redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Thank you for playing along, everybody. Three rejoins will be yours. They'll be credited before the next game begins. And hey, come back for that game, why don't you? And earn yourselves another three free rejoins in the process. This has been Swagbucks Live, and we are out of here, folks.